Somebody wants you to think that you overreacting by defending yourself, by standing up for yourself. It's something that you're saying or expressing to let people know that you just not going to let them play with you, okay? But there are select individuals who are trying to make you feel like you overreacting or you don't have a valid case. But the Holy Spirit is saying you need to keep standing up for yourself, okay? You need to keep talking your shit. You need to keep doing whatever it is you're doing. <clears throat> Throat chakra, they try not to... They don't want you to speak about whatever this injustice is that's occurring, but you need to keep talking about it. They want you to disconnect from your plight, what you have been going hard for when it comes to proving who you are, standing up for yourself, not letting anybody intimidate you. Like, you're not going for it. And there are little people, there, I said, I was about to say little people because their mindset is very low vibrational. They're not seeing the big picture that comes with you standing up for yourself. They're trying to get you to reduce yourself to minimize who you are, to please whoever the fuck. You know, it don't even matter at this point because what you're saying is valid. You have the right to be saying and behaving the way that you are, and you're not going to let nobody shame you for it, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what else do you need to know about this, please, and thank you? What are the messages from you through me at this time? Thank y'all so much for supporting this platform, and let's hop right into this message. King of Swords, the truth, okay? Whoever you are, <clears throat> you are speaking the truth. They don't want you to talk the truth. And I can't make it up with this Ace of Swords. You are providing mental clarity. You are giving clear communication. Whatever you're saying is causing breakthroughs in certain realms. That's why these people are trying to convince you to stop talking. Because you are making changes that you don't even know about because of what you're saying. Your truth, the clarity, the hindsight, the different mindset that you have, it's shaping something. It's shifting something. It has power, okay? And people want to make you feel like you're being bold and reckless, but I'm telling you, you making towers fall. You are bringing down faulty structures by what you're saying. You're making people reevaluate their actions, okay? You defeat motherfuckers out here by what you're saying. So this, whoever these people are that want you to stop talking, it's because you're this, this bold and fearless leader, okay? And the seeds that you're sowing they are building some sort of long-term success for you. They are. You may not see the benefits right now, but I'm telling you behind the scenes in areas that you know nothing about, you are making some significant changes happen. You are truly making faulty towers fall. Okay? You put people through some shit. So they got their little cronies in the mix, people who are trying to get in your ear and make you resort to some sort of low vibrational energy because you're standing in your power right now. You're not reducing yourself, okay? But there, there are people, little people in your camp, I just heard, <clears throat> who do not want you to use your throat chakra. Who have been saying, maybe you shouldn't say that, or maybe you shouldn't do that, or, you know, trying to place these slick, creative expressions of doubt in your head. 
And the universe is saying you need to keep persevering. You need to push through it. Okay? Something about your fearlessness for sure with this King of Swords, Queen of Wands, and King of Wands. All three of these cards represent your energy. Okay? And somebody is telling you you need to stop while you're ahead. You need to make a break for it even. But it's deceptive. It's <clears throat> it's a way to lead you away from speaking the truth. Truly trying to blo block your throat chakra. And I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're saying, you're sharing the wealth. People appreciate what you are giving to them. They are eager and anxious for it. Okay? You have built partnerships with people as a result of being in this King of Swords, Ace of Swords energy. Viable partnerships. The, this is the type of seeds that I'm talking about that you sowed that you may not be seeing an immediate result from, but baby down the line, this type of energy, the Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, is really going to benefit you because of what you are making happen, possibly even within charity. Something with how people are giving, how they are investing even, okay? And they're having a victory, child, because of what you've been telling them, the mental clarity that you've been giving these people. So it's like, why would you switch it up? Why would you switch up how you've been communicating? Because somebody says, maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe you should weigh your options. Maybe you should reconsider or even adapt. You're definitely not adapting to what these other energies want you to do. These five of pentacles people, people who are suffering as a result of what you're saying. Okay, they don't like this action that you're taking. <clears throat> they don't, honey. Because look, they fall right up. This is going to fall right up under this Five of Pentacles. They don't like it. They want you to Eight of Cups, your mission. And see, the reason why the Holy Spirit is saying you need to keep fighting and standing up for yourself to be able to say whatever it is you're saying. Okay, it's it's what you're saying, how you're saying it for sure. Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands, it's it's what you're saying, which is the truth, but it's how you're saying it. It's your it's not a spin on it, but it's how you're relaying it. Okay? They don't like it. It's very clever. It's passionate. It's intuitive even with this Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords energy. And I'm telling you, you have provided some sort of breakthrough in realm sectors that you have no idea about. And these Five of Pentacles devil energies don't like these changes that are being made because it's causing a breakdown for them, some sort of loss for them. So I don't know who these Knight of Cups is that's been trying to tell you to pipe down or let it go, whatever this is that you've been saying and doing. But these Knight of Cups are ops, high priestess, who have been sent in to stop you from sharing this wisdom and knowledge that you have. Okay? I'm not saying that you know things that nobody else don't know. That's not what I'm saying. It's how you express what you do know. That's what I'm saying. It's your outlook on the future with this Ten of Cups. How your perspective brings happiness to people. How it, it may even bring people back together. It heals connections. It helps people understand the importance of stability. Building solid long-term relationships, being in harmony with people, okay? That's what you do. And it's been beneficial for you. See, that's the other reason why they're mad now. 
they also mad because the truth that you telling and the way you tell it has brought abundance and prosperity into your life. <clears throat> like, how dare you tell the truth and make some sort of profit from it? Because they want you to be poor child. They don't want you to have success and prosperity. They truly lack apathy for you and your success in life, your victory in life. These people do not want you to win. Four of Cups is falling right up under the Six of Wands. So anybody that's trying to tell you not to do and say what you have been currently doing that has been breeding success for you, long-term success, what you have been doing has been putting you in this emperor position. Anybody telling you 1101 that you need to stop doing that, that you need to make some sort of change or shift in your decision to be fearless. The card says fearlessness. It is definitely something about you being a fearless leader. But you're a logical leader, a practical leader. You do represent stability you're not out here wilding you ain't out here just saying fuck it now if somebody fuck with you that's different and that's what's been happening here because somebody has been coming for you which triggered you to be in this fearless energy but it's paying off this is what the universe wanted you to do this is part of your divine purpose to speak truth to light whoever i'm picking up on no matter who watching, no matter who's inspired, no matter who thinks that their low vibrational plans are delayed because of what you're saying. Okay, see, that's the other part of it. That's these five of pinnacle devil energies. They heartbroken because you are exposing what the fuck they doing. However you're doing that, you ain't got to be no fucking psychic or no tarot reader to expose what somebody doing. That's not right. And that don't make you no damn snitch neither. Because what I'm picking up on that you putting down is bringing some sort of justice and clarity to people's lives. It's helping people get in alignment. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. This one I'm getting. Hierophant, I'm trying to tell you, you're helping people establish morals and ethics, traditional values. There are traditional institutions who may even have made changes because of what you said. So you're in a place of positivity with what you're doing. You're bringing about fruitful change. You're bringing about awakenings interventions renewals i'm telling you you have put people back to you have mended relationships i picked that up specifically there's some sort of divine order about what you're doing you have mended relationships though you have helped people come back together who had thought that they had moved on from others for good so you doing the right thing child okay and God has a lot in store for you. There's a lot moving forward. There's a lot ahead of you. You you will expand. These people don't want you to expand. Keep standing up for yourself. Keep talking that talk. Keep maintaining your grace, your composure while doing so. Okay, that's that's important here. Like, don't falter from what you have been standing on. Because if you're going to falter from what you've been standing on for so long, that's telling people that you really ain't about that life. You really ain't about what you've been saying you've been about all this time. And I know we can have changes in perspective, 1441, but there's no, nothing about this perspective that you're acting on that you need to change. That's what the universe is saying. Because whoever this Knight of Cups is, they slick as hell. 
They slick now. They could be a Pisces. I don't know what's up. <laughs> Child, I be picking up on some Pisces here and there. Now I be like, woohoo. Y'all be in y'all damn karmic energy. Because there's a Knight of Cups in particular who's been telling you, man, maybe you should just let this go. You can still celebrate and be happy without receiving any sort of abundance from what you're currently doing. You can go another route and still be abundant. They're trying to stop this person. Clarify what I'm getting, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. <clears throat> I can't make it up. I can't make it up. The world. Okay, Holy Spirit, thank you for the confirmation. They are trying to get you to complete this plight that you have been on. They want you to feel like you didn't reach your goal even. Like you don't need to talk about whatever this is. You don't need to bring no light to it anymore. Just let it go. Okay, you, you've, you've hit that mark. That's what they've been trying to tell you. Okay, but if you follow the lead of this Knight of Cups, you're going to be in regret. It's going to be a loss if you choose to move on. Because they're trying to make you decide if you should stay or go from whatever stance you're taking. You're taking some sort of public stance about something. And they're trying to get you to believe that this action that you're taking is going to cause some burdens for you down the line with this Ten of Wands. But this person really is causing you to reconsider what you're doing. Because they work for somebody else who knows that you are sitting in this energy right here, child, outpouring, an outpouring of knowledge, wisdom, love, okay, nurturing, you're creating healing, you're helping people heal, you're helping people get into unions, grow. And you are, you have obtained some sort of social status. It's like they trying to make you think you already have arrived. You can't, you can't go any higher. You can't make any more of an impact. And that's just not true. That's not true. And the universe is saying that it's time to become independent of whoever this is that you're partnering with that's telling you to go in a different direction. Because you're going to be going from a queen of pentacles to a nine of pentacles if you break away from this person. And that it's almost as if things will just get even better, child. We got the sun, four wands with the chariot. Because there may be something that you're wanting to do now that this person has been trying to convince you not to do. But the direction you are going in, it's undeniable. The cards back to back was the Empress, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, Four of Wands with the Chariot. That is your energy as a result of saying what you're saying, talking that talk. And if you restrict yourself following along with this plan of action, this goal that this person has even tried to tell you will increase your income somehow. Like they're trying to get you to reconsider a whole, I ain't gonna say brand change. I don't know what you do. 1919, about to hit the clock. But they want you to redevelop who you are re-strategize, do something different, go, go in another direction for sure. They want you to surrender this perspective that you have currently that, no, I'm going to say what I want to say because I'm being divinely guided to say what I'm saying. I'm going to ask God to continue to order my steps, and that's what he's been doing. That's why I'm in such abundant energy. 
So it don't make no sense for me to listen to you, Knight of Cups. This is what you're going to be saying now, because, baby, they're trying to build some illusions in your head, but you too tapped in for that. You're too intellectual for that, okay? Intelligent and common sense. Coupled together, you're intelligent and you got good common sense. So you're resilient to these efforts to make you stop speaking the truth. But you're going to let this person know that, you know, in your dreams, okay, Knight of Cups, with this Seven of Cups, this illusion, wishful thinking, even that you're trying to get me to fall for, I ain't going for it. I'm going to continue to keep working and doing what I'm doing and saying what I'm saying. And they just going to have to get over it, whoever the fuck they is. Because it's a number of days. It is. It's a number of days within these different institutions and arenas and sectors that I'm picking up on who have faced some sort of loss because of what you've been saying. And they mad about it. And they have some so they have somehow gotten in one of these people's ear that's close to you. Whoever this Pisces is, they are Pisces. They're a night energy. They may be younger than you. Okay, but this person then, I feel like whoever this is, you've given them opportunities as a result of what you've been saying and doing. They didn't came up in the world as a result of your efforts to be in this. You are in the king and queen of swords and the king and queen of wands with the ace of swords in your effort to bring people mental clarity to stand up for yourself, bring people clarity about who you are by just operating in this energy. People can see that you are upright, that you ain't too unstable. It's some validity in what you're saying because when we utilize what you are saying, we see positive results. Two, 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 two. You help us get things in alignment. So this is their vibe. You helping people make their own damn wishes come true, including your own. Why would you move on to calmer waters? Why would you stop doing that? See, that that's what you are saying to yourself. You may even end up saying that to this person. Why would I... Start a new beginning when I'm having a victory doing what I'm doing. And it's something positive. And it's causing people to take positive risk and get results that they never thought they could achieve. It's helping people have hope and inspiration for the future. Get themselves in alignment. So why would I stop putting in that type of work? That don't make sense. That's what you are going to say. And this will continue to ensure that the scales remain balanced in your life. Doing what you're doing. Fuck who don't like it, child. Okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Because they piss, honey. But baby, you wouldn't be sitting where you sitting. The moon. If there wasn't some bullshit up with what they had been doing. Okay? There wouldn't be any clarity to bring two people if this type of energy wasn't happening behind the scenes. But time will always tell, and the truth will always come to light, no matter how hard people try to block it from being revealed. When you stand your ground, like whoever this is is doing, you will receive security, protection, and stability from the universe, from the Most High God. The spiritual realm is going to be in your corner. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Five of Wands. So keep fighting. Fuck that. Keep doing what you're doing. That's what I'm hearing. Don't stop standing up for yourself. You right on the money. 
you right on the mark and you should see the results of you standing up for yourself as indication that you are doing the right thing. You know, keep giving that conflict to their ass because it's, it's definitely making some pivotal changes that you are going to see some sort of cor cornucopia for sure in the long run. What you're doing right now, you might be in the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, you know, really having to stand your ground and fight against a lot of energies that be, okay? But at the end of the day, you see what's going to come from it. And you can't beat this type of energy on your best day. I don't give a fuck how much conflict they try to bring your way, okay? And I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.